So it's been talked about a little bit, but not quite as much as it probably should be, because today we're going to talk about the Sentinel sniper rifle and everything we've actually learned about this weapon in the light of all the crazy nonsense with Revenant and Forge and everything else that's going on. But guys, we just passed 41,000 subscribers. So if you are new, smash down that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. So there is actually some stuff to talk about when we uh, look into the PlayStation blog and there's a, a just a lot going on in a very short little interview. And one of the things we learned the most about is the Sentinel sniper rifle and how it's going to function on the battlefield as we obviously still are waiting to see the gameplay trailer. Without the gameplay trailer, we really are still kind of speculating but this is from developers and it actually lets us know how the season four weapon is going to work but speaking of season four guys we are days away so if you want to win a season four battle pass with 25 bonus levels and some extra apex coins for you to screw around and have fun with then take the next five seconds to like this video and drop a comment with your origin xbox or playstation username and if you win i'll message you on your platform and hook you up with a gift card worth 4,350 Apex coins. But as I said, there was a blog and the link will be in the description below if you want to check it out. So go ahead and you can read the rest of the blog and see where we'll probably be going with tomorrow's video. Assuming that the trailer doesn't come out because if the trailer comes out, that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to break down a trailer and go over everything we need to know. Because as of now, all we got is the cinematic trailer and the little ending there with Loba looking just straight up sinister. And I did want to point out that it has to be Loba because of the wolf statue. But also in that last image, look at her hair. If her hair was any more Wolverine for a little girl with the little like wolf pup ears coming out the back from like the, you know, French braid she's got going on, she would literally be a wolf. So I'm thinking that there's a lot of stuff hinting at who she is and why she has that name. So clearly her name is Rosie and Loba will probably be the name given to the legend character that she assumes. But the Sentinel Sniper Rifle is an interesting weapon that we have been told about directly by the dev stream and by different situations. And I actually did a video speculating on how it would work and I was totally wrong. So if you actually saw the video about the Sentinel Sniper Rifle, it's not correct in that I don't tell you how properly that you're actually going to use the charging mechanism of the sentinel sniper rifle which again it does charge up the damage it does not charge like a charge rifle or a devotion or a havoc or a select fire havoc it has nothing to do like that it actually charges the damage but unlike in overwatch like i had a speculated or in team fortress 2 for that matter like the sniper has instead of scoping in and waiting a period of time for the damage to ramp up on the weapon and then you pull the trigger and shoot people you actually consume a shield cell or shield battery i should say in order to charge up the weapon and apparently it does seem to be some hints or at least some talk that it does devastating weapon like damage to shields compared to health so the chances are that if you charge up a shot that's how you make it really really strong and it'll destroy the shields and then the rest of the normal damage will probably be for front loaded into you know body damage or something along those lines I, i'm not sure but what i do know is that they're saying it's going to be perfect for mid to long range combat and for me that's an interesting proposition because that means that we'll get something that's more viable in the mid range than say um a Kraber, but it still probably has a devastating amount of damage similar to what you would expect from a longbow headshot. Now, this is literally what the article says if you didn't go read it. Get your hands on the new Sentinel bolt action sniper rifle. Fast for a sniper, accurate and surgical, the Sentinel lets you remove your enemies from the battlefield with cold blooded accuracy. Ideal for medium to long range combat, the Sentinel is particularly devastating to shields. Consume a shield battery from your inventory to charge your shots for an extra incisive punch. By the time your opponents figure out where you are, it will be too late. So by that understanding, it should be 
a devastating weapon to say the very very least will it actually be some type of you know monstrosity of a weapon who knows you know what i mean like it could be another floop uh, you know what i mean like we got floops all over the place and no i don't mean fluke i mean floops okay it's like a flute it doesn't play right. It's not a gun. It's just, you know, you got stuff just laying around like a Mozambique. That's a floop. All right. It's a flute poop. <laughs> That's exactly what a floop is. A flute poop. All right. So if you get made it to this point in the video, everybody that made it this part, make sure you put hashtag floop in your comment because we get we start in the floop gang around here. All right. We just floop and I'm going to make a new some new uh, merch with the floop icon on there. Be like, it's a floop. It's just going to be a Mozambique that says floop on it. All right. It's the turd of guns. So, I mean, there is obviously some hope that a sniper rifle comes out and it's not complained about, I guess, because the charge rifle is too easy to use for it to be that powerful. It should take like four seconds total from like beginning to end for it to do its major damage and in, in my opinion so you should have quite some time to trace a target before it actually just burns somebody up but the way it works right now it's kind of like a spartan laser that does just a little bit less damage so i do hope that we get a sniper rifle that's going to be well, the way it sounds it sounds like it's going to be comparable to a longbow maybe a little bit stronger with a shield cell or shield battery consumed but it might as well also probably be slightly faster than the longbow in terms of its overall rate of fire, or it's going to be about the same exact speed because they're like, it's fast for a sniper. Well, the longbow is technically fast for a sniper, you know, like that's quite fast for what I would consider a sniper rifle. So comparatively, if they mean it's just faster than a Kraber, well, that thing's like reloading a shotgun between shots. So, you know what I mean? Like, okay. It better be like two shot comparable to a Kraber if it's gonna be slower than a than a uh, a longbow in terms of like how slow the fire shot you know fire rate actually is. I it's, I would hate to think that it's gonna be you know as fast as a G7, but I would hate to think that it's gonna be slower than a, a longbow at the same time. So I I don't know exactly how it's going to work but i figured i'd share what we know with you guys and as i said the blog post will be in the description below so if you want to check that out you can and find out a little bit more about what's going on here in apex legends as there's been a you know uh, an interview with playstation that gave us some more information than we uh previously had from the dev stream and other things but it is turning into one wild season and i can't believe that they did not give us a gameplay trailer quite yet that part of the situation completely blows my mind and i am kind of still amped up to see what the playstation or well uh the playstation interview or at least i think it was no it was a twitter twitter post sorry getting confused here but in a twitter post they did say that there is a gameplay trailer coming and that we should, that, you know, it will, you know, let us know even more and no spoilers from them, but it's going to be uh, showing us that a lot of community feedback has been listened to, apparently. Like, we're going to see changes that we asked for. And I doubt that as much as I want to believe that. I doubt it. I don't think we're going to see skill based matchmaking turned off or tweaked down to the point where it's just keeping, you know, completely new players separated from the rest of us. I think what we're going to see is more likely um, them just kind of adding in some of the small things. Like, I think we're going to get the surprise of the emergency AOE heal from Lifeline. And we're going to see the Mirage changes to his clones and, you know, those type of things. So I don't think we're going to get quite the stuff that we're, we could be thinking when they say, oh, community changes. Like, no, we're going to get like the stuff that they like and it's that we came up with and obviously the mirage change the lifeline change stuff like that is all things that people would really like so i think we'll be seeing those two in the very 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 close future here guys so keep in mind tuesday at 10 a.m pacific time specific time we'll be seeing the season four drop of apex legends so i hope to see you guys in the arena as well but uh good luck on the giveaway guys and let's see if we can hit fifty thousand in the first month of season four
But that's about wrap it up for this game, this video, guys. So, uh, yeah, here's two videos you can check out if you feel so inclined. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, have a good one.